Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Now, off screen, we have customized the gummy ship a little more just to pimp it out just a slightly a bit. Might notice a few differences when we start traveling to other worlds. Pimped it out, wait, hold on. God damn it, Exhibit tried to prop a lawsuit on us. Uh, <laughs> we have to rephrase it then. Alright. Uh, Modified. Yeah, fuck it, yeah. <laughs> Modified, <laughs> there you go. But, um,. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to venture to a new world, and this world is exact not one I'm exactly fond of. I'm I'm actually indifferent toward it. You can uh, actually warp drive to the whale. <laughs> but he's constantly moving. If I recall, he was next to Agrabah last time. But anyway, our next destination is here, if I recall correctly. But first, fish. But first, whale. <laughs> why why the why the whale? Well, in the case we can run into it, we can go back inside the stomach and get that treasure just we missed. Quite right. a few, actually. Oh, oh, I thought we were just getting it so we can make some blubber nuggets. Yeah. Ugh, <laughs> Ugh. Is he here? Is he here? He's here. Is he here? Okay, good. Sometimes if Monstro doesn't show up, what ends up happening is, is that... Goofy will comment that he's not here. Yeah, and then you can move on ahead. <laughs> I hope this doesn't end up being one of those bizarre world playthroughs. Where yeah. no matter how many times you keep trying to get to Atlantic, <laughs> you get swallowed by the whale. <laughs> All right, so let's do just a mo bit of minor cleanup here for Monstro. Is the pedo here? No, the pedo has gone. I hope. Not. Okay, at least they got that. That would really make all our work worthless, wouldn't it? Geppetto, what are you doing here? I got I got used to it. I don't know. <laughs> no, he got used to it. This he is this is, this is my summer home. <laughs> you know, being a shot of killer whale's not so bad when you feng shui the organs a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, Wait, the guys, prizes are down in the um, in the chambers, not I up here. I want to get the stuff that we missed in the throat. What if do we miss? Any, if anything, I'm not sure. It it's in the um, lower levels. Of course, there's heartless. Oh, what was it was heartless, don't you know? <laughs> Darkness is born in every heart, and this whale out here is a real prick. <laughs> okay, nothing here. Right, it's on the, it's all in the chambers. All right, I just wanted to make sure because it's been a while since I last. Now the thing is, uh, I'm not exactly sure which chambers, but I do know that if you have high jump, you can pretty much get to whatever you need to go to in there. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're back in chamber two. We can easily get this chest now with high jump. Mega elixir. Ain't bad, but there's still more to be found. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back in chamber five, and our next treasure chest is just right over here. Okay. <laughs> this might be it, the torn page. Mithril. No. Mithril. Shit, can't use that. <laughs> I can't use that for for something in Merlin's house. Oh. Ooh. Okay, uh, next judge is right here. <laughs> Again, can't open it because we're in battle mode. Now we can open the chest. All this for a... Dogs. Dumb. <laughs> yeah, that's helpful. Okay, so we're in chamber six. And there's ah, more violence God to be had! Damn it! <laughs> Just can't can never catch a break, can you? Oh, wait. What part of key bearer do we keep missing? <laughs> well, who else is here? I don't want to find out. Oh, it's one of these little turds. Go away! I have chests to open. Still there. Oh, it's like every time I jump towards the damn chest, these guys will pop up! That's <laughs> how artless function. The ultimate cock blockers for treasure. <laughs> <laughs> they don't want you to progress. Is that an item? Yeah, yeah. it is. Leather. And a bright shard. I saw another one down there, too. Ugh. It's a barrel. It's not a heartless. Actually, a barrel doesn't have a heart. Ugh. Wait, hold on. There's an item on the second step. Hold on. I'm trying to get to this chest right here first. Oh, okay. Did you not see me trying to get it earlier? Torn there page. it is. There's a torn page. There's another chest right here. Can You'll you reach it, though? No. Yeah, I think you can. No, I don't think so. Uh, You're close. The you reward that. is barrel spiders. I think I might be able to do it if I just use the extend jump trick. Yes. Okay. And then, and then violence. Mega elixirs. Mega elixirs. Okay, I believe we're done. Wait, more violence. For terror chain. Yeah, I should uh, bring up to bring you up to date, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, while we're also off screen, is that in addition to just uh, pimping out a gummy ship, we also equipped Sora with some new abilities. And 
by that I mean the jackpot Judge Magnus, because uh, we're not going to be able to get any use of Strike Ray just yet. Well, actually, here's the real truth. The matter is, is that when we go to Atlantica, we can't use our limit breaks underwater. So, Strike Raid and Sonic Blade would have been just a waste of time. However, if you really suck with the underwater controls, Treasure Magnet and whatnot are pretty good abilities to have. This way you don't have to worry about finicky controls while you're collecting cores and stuff. Okay, so we're pretty much done for Monstro for now. There's still a white trinity there that we'll have to wait till we get to later. So, but let's go to the next time, Let's go to the next world. That's a battle level 5 for starting point on our big boy pen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoa. You put some Thundara gummies? Yes. Wow. Why not? Why I should go for Thundaga. Why do you have two sets of wings? Because... Because. Because... To improve our maneuverability. Yes. But the gummy police are gonna stop you for that. <laughs> Unless they're the fashion police. Yeah. Sir, are you aware you have two sets of wings? <laughs> that, that violates the... That violates the non-aggression... Non -aggression, non -aggression treaty. Non -aggression I already played the city of uh, Savonia. You know, using it violates the it violates the non-symmetrical treaty we have. You know, using warp drive here in these parts are is illegal. Ah uh, no. I actually feel rather indifferent toward Atlantica. Admittedly, it ain't my favorite world, but it doesn't kill me to do. I just. I it's, think it's two things. One, I hate the underwater controls. Secondly, under the sea does not make a good overworld theme. I'm sorry. I had a, I had that similar dilemma with Birth by Sleep and um, what was that world? Uh, Cinderella's tune. Cinderella. Whoever thought Bibbidi Bobbidi Boo would be a nice little tune to hear as the overall theme repeatedly really deserves to get shot. Wait, Cinderella has. Now, I like Atlantica's. I like Atlantica's battle theme. But Under the Sea is not something I want to hear repeatedly over and over and over again. Like I said, to me it's inoffensive. In other words. I Sora heard better, a, but I could do worse. Sora was a mermaid the entire time. And Goofy was a turtle, and Donald's a... Octopus. I was going to say squid. Huh. Come on, Sebastian. Ariel, wait. Slow down. Don't leave me behind. <laughs> yes, always leave a crab behind. That would be my turn, too. <laughs> I've seen ducks. I've seen squid. I've never <laughs> seen duck squid. <laughs> Holy <Ooh>. abomination. <laughs> An abomination. <laughs> Donald Cthulhu? Wait, his name is Flounder? Uh, <laughs> yeah. I never watched The Little Mermaid, so I wouldn't know. I can't understand why Goofy and Donald would stick up. Why is Sora out of the ordinary? Probably because they never really seen him in, those, in these waters. Well, yeah, from that, I can understand that from the total stranger aspect, but... I think it's because of the fin Sora has behind him. Well, he's male. Yes, the back fin is a penis. <laughs> Sebastian can show you how we swim around here. Ariel, King Triton would not like this. Oh, it's amazing what Disney got away with in terms of character design. What do you mean? Ariel's pretty much wearing nothing but a bra. <laughs> you know, I actually thought that whole cussy you saw Sebastian just smiling. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Atlantica. Alright, in, in order to... In, we have to talk to Sebastian, I believe. No, it's the flounder. You have to keep finding the fish. Uh, that's right. And by that, you're gonna whack the friggin' princess. Okay. Alright. Uh, I forgot. Circle was ascend. The fish Square controls take some time to get used to. Descend. You know, God of War had better underwater controls. What came first, this or God of War? Uh, this. By, I think, three years. Yeah, but the thing is, though, since they're the same gen consoles, it's more like, how are we going to really implement it effectively? I don't know. Look, it's, I don't know, there's some people that may find that too bad. I just, it's too awkward. It's like, it's abrupt gameplay change for me. Uh, what the hell was he? Was. What the hell he, he was, was right he behind, behind He was all the way behind you. Turn around. He was behind the clamp. There he, no, there he is, right there. So I got sidetracked for a second. There's this fucking fly in the room, and I wish I could get rid of it. <clears throat> you can't lock on the flounder. All you need to do is tag him anyway, so... Yeah. I think he goes really high up this time. I mean, every other world we've been into was pretty much, you know, the run really of the Really high mill. up. It's been pretty much the run of the mill formula. And Atlantica, they decided to switch the entire control scheme. 
But granted, you still move Sora with the left analog stick and stuff like that, but just now you have to have to keep in mind your... Your Y-axis. Yes. Now he really goes down low. Now granted, when you're fighting Heartless, as long as you stay locked onto them, Sora will ascend and descend for you for the most part. It's still awkward, though. Eh. Well, you, you know, it could be worse. You could, there could be no Heartless at all, and you'd have to play, play quick time events with songs from the movie. Yeah, I would really, really hate that. After a while, Elliot, that is a terrible idea, and you should. Bad, you're thinking about that. Right, you've been disowned from your family yeah. again. Wait, I'm sorry. I could have swore he was gonna pinch him on his nipple. <laughs> I would have made for a bad joke. <laughs> it's the equivalent. That's Atlantic goes breaking a leg. No, it's titty twisters. Titty twisters. <laughs> Anyway, see wait, me on. Wait, These are pretty much the shadows of the underwater world. Nothing to write home about. Nothing threatening at all. Yep. Though if you're lucky and you drop and you get a good kill on him, you might get a Blizzaga ring from them. Okay. <laughs> Back to clam. It hit a safe point. Sora was thoroughly amazed at what a clam does when it opens <laughs> up. <laughs> Well, it, it did materialize the save point. So instead of a pearl, it, it's a save point. <laughs> kind of would have preferred a pearl. They give me money. Yeah. <laughs> you whack <laughs> the pearl for money. For money. <laughs> Ariel is pretty much a... You know, you can make Ariel the case of a white mage, but given that she has names like potions in her name and whatnot, I kind of call her an alchemist. I actually do like uh, Ariel's physical attacks, especially the drill ones that she has. Yeah. Uh, just for the sake of having her with us, I'm gonna take out Donald. I would take out Donald. You know, Donald doesn't have a lucky strike ability. Yeah. And like I, like I'm such a big boner for. I love item drops. Yeah. And again, Donald, uh, Goofy has MP gifts, so we can do all the healing ourselves. Oh, hold on. Might want to customize Ariel first. Uh, you're right. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, regular, constantly, regular, special, frequently, frequently defensive, defensive occasion. I'll go uh, maybe frequently, frequently. Well, she's a white mage, that would make sense. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's look at her abilities. Yeah, let's look at her abilities. Mm, I'm liking uh, look at that shit. Yeah, I'm, like, I'm liking MP the assets. Rage? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, MP Rage? MP Rage, you, your MP rate increases every time you get hit. Frankly, I think I would be worth equipping. What, you already rate? have one. Well, she, yeah, she has two. You can get up to it, three. You, if you equip guess. more of a certain ability, you have more of an increased ability. Uh, you want to keep Lucky Strike on. Absolutely. And, uh... If you're gonna... You might have to waste one of those other side items you have that increase AP if you want to give that to her. Unless you have no problem with taking off Second Wind. Second Wind... Okay, just for the clarification. Second Wind reduces the amount of time a character needs in order to get back up from unconsciousness. Right. Um... I think we won't. I think we'll be fine without this. Just for now. Just for now, anyway. So we'll equip that, and that's pretty much all we can do. So okay, let's continue on. Atlantica is one of the bigger worlds, actually. Now that I think about it. Um, no. Atlantic. Uh, wait. It's the most blue of the worlds. Well, it's underwater. <laughs> and of course, as we all know, water's blue. Yes. What do you mean? No. It's yeah, it's blue. It's not clear. You yeah, know? just like how air is green. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but now you get the title screen of the world? Hey, uh, better than Kingdom Hearts 2. <laughs> I can't wait till we actually do that game. I like that one. I, uh, let me rephrase it. Now, I hated Atlantica there, but I, I still find something fun to play with it. Okay. Alright, now, for plot purposes, the trident's point in the direction you need to go. However, we need to do some exploring around here first. Yes, let's do that. If you look at around, if you remember the clams we saw earlier, clams are pretty much our variation of treasure chests. By giving you some of them a friendly tap, we swim forward to Pearl and we collect elixir. One right here. And yes, they count as treasure chests, so you can't open them in the middle of a battle. They'll close up immediately if you try to. <laughs> really annoying if you. <laughs> Like you try to hit, it's like nope, too scared. Close. And yes, that is the uh, that is Ariel's voice from the Disney or the, the Little Mermaid. So I forgot her name. I feel bad for that. Wait, what? 
Arrow's voice is the same voice actors in the Disney movie. They really went out of the way to make sure they got a lot of people back from the Disney movies. Not all of them, but... That's a great thing, in yeah. my opinion. I, I do like it, you know. Go to the red show real quick. That's what I'm heading to.